Our first problem with inelastic collisions involves rail cars again. In this case, a 13,500 kilogram rail car travels on a level track at a speed of four and a half meters per second. It collides and couples with a 25,000 kilogram rail car that's initially at rest and with its brakes released. No external force acts on the system. The question is, what is the speed of the two cars after colliding? So let's summarize the information we're given. We have the two masses of the rail cars. M1 is 13,500 kilograms, and M2 is 25,000 kilograms. The velocity of the first one, the 13,500 kilogram rail car, is four and a half meters per second, and that of the second car is zero. It's stationary. Afterwards, we know that they both have a common velocity. So V1 prime and V2 prime are the same. We just write those as V prime. Using the expression we just derived for perfectly inelastic collisions, we have that the sum of the momenta before, M1 V1 plus M2 V2, is equal to the sum of the momenta afterwards, which is M1 V1 prime plus M2 V2 prime. But remember here that V1 prime and V2 prime are the same and that V2 initially is zero. So we end up with this expression, M1 V1 plus zero is equal to M1 plus M2 times V prime. Again, we rearrange. We're interested in what the final velocity is of the pair of cars. So we're going to divide both sides by the mass of the combined train, m1 plus m2. So we do this, we get v prime by itself, and then we have m1 v1 divided by the mass of the com combination m1 plus m2. Now we can substitute. For m1, we have 13,500 kilograms and its velocity. 4.5 meters per second, and we divide that by the combined mass, 13,500 plus 25,000 kilograms. Plugging this in a calculator or using your brain, 1.6 meters per second is the final speed of the, of the two objects, and they continue moving in the same direction as the 13,500 kilogram road, rail car. So the thing to notice here is that it continues in the same direction as the car that was moving, number one, and number two, that the velocity for the combined train is much less than that of the individual rail car.